Hmm? You wonder what I'm doing? Why would I have the keys to my friend's house? Hi, I'm Bob Troush, a founding member of CHAT, Chico Housing Action Team, and today we're in our new warehouse. This warehouse is amazing for us. It's three times the size of the warehouse we were in before, which allows us to make such more impact in this county, not just Chico, but in this county, being able to deliver household goods of every kind, as you can see in here. We have everything the house would need. So we've become kind of a go-to for housing needs in this community. When we look at this warehouse, that's just one of our programs. We have so many programs since we started seven years ago. In this video, you're going to see all seven of our programs and also a little view of the future that Chad is looking at. And I encourage you to share this video with friends, with family, with neighbors. It's so important to be able to view this video. And our hope is that sharing this will bring other people to be aware of what Chad is doing and the amazing volunteers again and staff that we have that are making a change in this community for so many of our homeless. So you're going to get to view all seven of our programs. And again, look at our future and where we intend to go. And again, please share this with your friends and neighbors. When we first came here, we were in a homeless shelter. Chet offered us a home. Chet offered us a lot of services. And they just helped me and my family get back on our feet. We provide permanent long-term housing for those in homelessness and those who are about to face homelessness. These applicants are families, they're single adults, it's a population that are literally sleeping on the streets. They're sleeping in homeless shelters, in cars, by streams. And what I do is I determine who is the most vulnerable. And Chet attempts to provide stable, permanent housing for those populations. Let's try the other one. Here we go. The advantages of CHAT is we don't have as much red tape as a lot of our partners, our collaborators have, and we have no bureaucracy to uh, hold us back. I love it. We have over 50 homes we're currently managing, providing maintenance, furniture, partnering with other agencies to provide case management, always looking how to improve our services, communicating with one another, in an effort to improve um, the lives of our residents or the residents at what we call chat houses. CHAT's program is basically looking into helping students who are homeless find housing so that they can continue their education. It's giving them a basis of stability so that they can move up rather than continue stumbling and continue falling and they can concentrate on their schooling, they can concentrate on finding a job, they can concentrate on getting themselves out of whatever hole they're in. Hi, my name is Jennifer. Uh, I was actually introduced to this program before it was called the Redwood Housing Program, which it now is, and it allowed me to get housing when I really needed it and get stability when I really needed it and it allowed me to not only get a job and become a contributing member of society that way, but also to finish my master's degree.
CHAMP stands for our Campfire Housing Access Model Program. And so we are a landlord incentive program that are helping many people who've been impacted by the fire directly or indirectly get into long-term housing. That is our goal. A thing about the campfire in the Paradise area is a lot of people that were living up in this area were already living on the edge. They were barely, you know, being able to pay their rents and living on fixed incomes. A lot of people were elderly or receiving SSI. And so these people already had so many challenges prior to the campfire. And so when the campfire came through and decimated a whole town and surrounding towns as well, it really created a drastic need for greater services because these people already needed services. So now the populations that we're serving through the CHAMP program are the people who need the help the most. And so we're doing our best to not just serve them to get into housing, which is our, our ultimate first goal, long-term housing, but also to address these other issues that other organizations would just say, we've already accomplished what we need to accomplish. We're gonna move on. CHAT is not doing that. We're saying, we'll be there for you to get you into housing, and then once you're in housing, we're gonna stay with you and help you stay strong and stable into the long term. Hi, I'm Leslie Johnson. I'm the Acting Executive Director of CHAT. Right now, the biggest thing to me that's happening with CHAT is we're starting Everheart Village. That's gonna be a little tiny home shelter community for behavioral health clients to help them get to their behavioral health appointments, stay on their treatment plans, and really get stabilized, and we're super excited about that. The original uh, plan was Simplicity Village. That's been upgraded now. We're gonna be doing Everheart Village. This is so exciting now to be able to have a uh, project uh, that we're working towards that is actually addressing our housing crisis. We expect to be able to put together about 20 new homes, uh, little tiny homes that'll have all the amenities. And this is gonna actually be getting people off the street into new homes, not just shuffling people from one shelter to another. This is giving them uh, pride of ownership, pride of residency, and uh, it's shown to work. There are seven other cities in uh, California that are doing this kind of tiny home project, and I'm looking forward to Chico becoming the uh, next city to get going with housing more people this way. Knock, knock. Coming. Hey, how are you today? Great. How are you? Good. It's kind of smoky, isn't it? I know. It's flying around everywhere. So I brought some clothes. I don't know if you'll want them, but they're size 10, 12. Oh, that'd be perfect for the girls. Awesome. Hey, girls. Girls. You want to look at Amanda bought us some clothes. I think it would be perfect. So Hand Up Supportive Housing, or HUSH, is an intense case management program only for families. We surround them with services and resources. Oh, you did? Did you go get those badges? In the HUSH program, we focus on housing, finances, mental health, physical health, education. This is a temporary program, so we supply intermediate housing right away, and we also give a rent stipend, a PG&E stipend, and we refer them to agencies like CalFresh, CalWorks, Social Security if it applies to them, um, and with mental health and physical health, parent-child interaction therapy, which is amazing. They give parents tools to support their children. We also refer to different agencies like Early Head Start, and that's for the younger children. Strengthening families. School ties is through Chico Unified School District. Um, we're also working uh, with a homeless uh, student liaison at Chico Unified School District. And we are also working with the Department of Rehabilitation for job placements. Um, and our end goal is stable housing and stability. So whatever the parent might need to obtain sustainable housing, we try to wrap them in services and, um, and give them the tools that they need to, to branch out on their own. The volunteers right now are sorting the food that we got this morning from Trader Joe's and some food that I picked up at various food banks this week. 
Do you have a little package of meat? Yes. Hi, my name is Kathy Weeks, and I am a board member and the coordinator of the food program at Chico Housing Action Team. And today is Saturday, which means it's sort day. So right now we're sorting food for our houses, which will be distributed in about two hours. The food project started about two years ago. We try to give the children milk, cheese, peanut butter, jelly, snack foods, and then we try to sort it by how many people are in each house. We try to divide them up as evenly as possible while remembering that certain people like certain things. So we try to customize as much as humanly possible with 45 houses. I've been working with food rescue for about the last 20 years. I firmly believe that things need to be redistributed, that no one in this country should go hungry. So I do everything in my power to get food, whatever food I possibly can for people. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. This is our veterans house. This is one of our newest programs under our Housing Now program. We felt that we needed to respond to the number of veterans in our community who are unhoused for different reasons. And this is our newest place. It's a wonderful house. Again, one of the great people in our community knew that we needed a house for veterans and she stepped forward and rented this house to us. And we're so excited to have the veterans in here these people have used their life to protect this country and we're thrilled to be able to have chat step up and help them in their lives. My name is Joe Rogers. I'm a resident at the Chats Veterans House. You know, for me, this place was a lifesaver when, you know, both financial and housing disaster hit at the same time. Um, talked with uh, Mark Alvarez, who's the housing coordinator for Chat, and he's like, well, you're a veteran. We're opening the house. Um, so yes, I was working up until late September. I was laid off from my job. We collapsed several programs um, into my area and being the lowest person on the totem pole, you know, there we are. Um, it's actually kind of nice living in a house with a group of vets because even though we come from different branches of service, there are some continuities of uh, experience, uh, some lingo um, that we don't have to explain. Um, for also someone like me, um, having um, a mental health diagnosis, uh, PTSD and anxiety, um, it means I don't have to keep apologizing when I suddenly have a, a startle moment. Um, because like the guys understand that not all of us have gone through uh, the same experiences. And there's a lot more empathy in the house when, you know, someone's having a challenge. There's also definitely a sense, um, cause right now it's, uh, there are three of us guys living here, um, a sense of brotherhood. So we do kind of look out for each other. We do, um, try to help each other. Um, you know, whether that is, you know, Hey, I'm cooking dinner for everybody or, you know, want to just check in and make certain someone's doing okay. Um, so it's, it's, it's definitely not just like roommates who go their own ways. Um, we do authentically like try to help each other out because there is that shared sense of brotherhood, um, in the house. I'm Benson. I live at Harmony House. Uh, Harmony House was a production of Chat. This is my fourth winter here. I had no place to stay. I was living out on the streets and I came here. And we're a diverse bunch of people here. There's eight people living in Harmony House. We're as diverse as you can get. Uh, we all have mental health issues. And so it takes a lot to get along. But Chat has provided us with a house manager who helps us do that. Hello, my name is Kendra Bonner. I work for CHAT um, and Harmony 3 House. 
Um, I work here kind of as a case manager. Um, there's eight different clients. Um, we meet once a week for a weekly house meeting and then we meet individually on side A and side B and we do that a meeting once a week. Um, I just manage the house to make sure everybody is able to live together and manage their mental illnesses and kind of thrive together as a unit. We have our issues bigger than most houses do. We have people in various mental states, so it makes it very difficult to get along. But ultimately, we're all here because we know we would be homeless without it. So we work things out because of that. We are so blessed because of CHAP. I'm really actually impressed with how they get along here. Here at Harmony House, Behavioral Health definitely has a hand in with all of these clients. All of them are definitely seeing behavioral health once a week, are definitely on their medications, are definitely benefiting from that. So for, I believe this house to work so well, behavioral health has played a big role in that and has helped them out in the long run. Harmony House is definitely a special house. The community here is different than anyone I've ever seen. Um, just especially how they uplift each other and um, give each other the support they need. It's like, it's like living independently, except the way chat is about it, it's about community. They teach you how to learn to like get resources from schools or jobs. And also they're very supportive on creative works though too. Like those at chat three, we love us are art talented or have like a talent of some sort in, in, yeah, and, and we collaborate in order to, like, learn something from the program. To have an oven like that and to be able to cook, I'm just, just so excited, you know, and I got the grocery store and I'm like, I'm finding some neck bones or something, <laughs> and I was on a mission, man. She was. The Mercy House is a house dedicated to people who have medical conditions or disabilities who would otherwise be living on the street. The Mercy House gives those people a place to live with dignity and health. The blanket, I have to tell you, it was so warm when I first came here. The blanket, I swear, <laughs> was almost 20 pounds. I felt like I'm sure it's not. But it was a big quilt that they provided, and they provided the oh, pillows. The and the bedding and a towel or two and just yeah just blessed oh my god because the first night i slept here i felt like i let my guard down i wasn't scared mm -hmm. and then you got to pull yourself out of it and that's the and hard i was part. right and i was scared and i was ashamed and i think that's what a lot of people are they're ashamed you know and when you mm -hmm. walk up to them on the streets and they're doing this it's because they, they're ashamed they don't want to look at you I don't want you to see them. I didn't want people to see me dirty or anything like that or, yeah. you know, so I was ashamed. Your self-esteem goes right in the gutter. Yep. Very quickly. You know, not all homeless people are drug addicts or alcoholics or whatever, you know, it's just normal people that just things have gone wrong for them. Right, and we were you both know. productive members of society. Yep. You, you know, you work a certain job and I worked a certain job. And I serviced people. I worked with, you know, mainly handicapped adults for 20 years. I worked for and, the government. So, right? So, you know. You know, and it just one wrong choice that you That's make. That's right. That's all choice. it takes. And it's just one, and then here comes, you know, another one. And it's like, it, it's all it takes is that one wrong, and then you're just there. Yep. There's only, the only way to go is up from here. That's, you know, the first step in the right direction. I'm so glad you all stayed to watch this video. You made this happen. Literally, the community of Chico has made this happen. Our volunteers have helped to make this happen. Our now 11 employees have helped to make this happen. If you look around this warehouse, this is amazing to us that seven years ago, some of us had a dream of housing people in this community. And now we've housed 210 people and we have 57 houses. We're pushing 60 houses that we have in this community. That's so exciting. And we know that we're gonna to continue to grow. The 210 people we have right now 
are not that many people compared to the number of people that have gone through our program and moved on. And that's something that is hard to understand the many people that we've gotten off the street from Chico, from Gridley, from Paradise, from the Ridge. All of those people now have moved on, but we still have 210 people in our program and we have many, many more that we're waiting to try and serve to help make a difference in their life. So please, again, share this video, share it with friends, share it with family. And if you have an ability to help give to Chico, to, to, through Chico to the Chico Housing Action Team, that makes a difference in our lives as to what we can do in the lives of the people that we're helping on the street. Thank mm -hmm. you.